All right, so what are your top five books to read? <laughs> I don't know about this. I think everybody should read. Read. What, My Cement? Pardon? What are you going to say, My Cement? Nah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. I think everyone should read a, a religious book, whether it's a Quran, if you're a Muslim, or if you're a Christian, a Bible, and so on. Do you know? Um, I was way off. Pardon? I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really say. Um, Aunt Middleton. Aunt Middleton's got some books out there. Yeah, plug your boys thing in. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's, he, he is my people, but you know what? You know what? You, you say plug. Plug my boy's thing. I've known him for about three years, yeah? Mm. And I can honestly say, he's asked, he's asked, he messaged me and asked me about my mental health more than anybody I've known for 40 odd years. That's a God's honest truth. We, we do sit in this place where we are now and we do chat and we do talk about mental health and so on. But he, he, he inspires, he, he doesn't don't just inspire me, he inspires a generation. Do you know? And it's not about plugging my boys, but it's not about plugging my boys. Every time I make this thing, try to make it look lighthearted and bad, <laughs> you'll be off camera, right? You're right, just making me look like I'm fucked up and I'm the bad guy in this. No, 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 it's cool, I yeah. Do, I should do whatever you have some. It, what was it? Oh my god. Oh. No, it's, it's, cu oh, it's no. cool. It's cool. And um, you know a book I, I, I read a long time ago, Monster Cody. Oh yeah, that creep in from Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, I read that years ago. That that that's a good book. Yeah. Um, and I don't really read the motivational books, to be honest. I don't think you but, read a lot of books. I think you're just trying to fill the camp. The nah, you know what it is. When I was in jail, I read a lot of books, but I didn't read the the kind of motivational books. When you're in jail, you read crime books, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. I ain't done bird. You know? Yeah. So yeah. I can only uh, tell you about the visiting room. I can't tell you about like. Yeah, but um, okay. I'm working with Steve Rafe on a book. It, it's come to out for a bit, mostly because it's my fault, but. It's going to be out there soon. It's going to be out there. Do we know what the title is going to be so they can look out for it? Nah, I, I was thinking LOL. <laughs> what about YOLO? Nah, LOL. And why I say that is um, luck or loyalty. Do you know? Because why am I here? Why am I here? It's through luck, isn't it? It's not through loyalty. Could be through love. Love. Yeah, maybe God loves you, can he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, the higher power out there. Nobody can go through what I've gone through and survive if there ain't somebody up there watching. Yeah, there's more holes in you than a connect four board, and if I'm on the board. <laughs> you carry on with more holes in you than a sieve. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm not promoting violence in any way. I just had to get him back on that one. He's just been, <laughs> he's been dubbing me all day. <laughs> I haven't been doing that, bro. You've been doing it the whole podcast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay.